Hi, my name is Johan, and in this video I'd like to show you some powerful features in Noodle that makes it easy to connect to GraphQL-based services. Noodle is a low-code development platform that abstracts React code, JavaScript, HTML, and CSS into nodes and modules. Today we're going to look at how you can add a GraphQL module to your Noodle project. GraphQL is a query-based language for APIs. It is really, really good because it makes it easy for you to only get the exact data that you're interested in into your application. So in the example that I'm going to show you today, I'm going to be adding the GraphQL module to this Noodle project and use it to connect to a headless content management system called Datto, which supports GraphQL for retrieving data. So here in my Noodle project, I have already started a little bit, and I've created this front page for a coffee shop. And on this first page, uh, we want to show these campaign cards or article items as we've named the component. And as you can see, they will contain an image, a title, a body, and a button with some type of button text. And right now, this data is provided through this static array. And you can see here, it's just defined in some JSON right here. This is what I want to replace today with a GraphQL node that connects to my headless content management system. So let's get started by actually importing the GraphQL module. So we're going to head over here to the library pane. And under the module section, I'm going to find the GraphQL module. And I'm going to click the little add button here. So now that imported the GraphQL module into this project. And when I right click on my canvas and start typing graph, you can see that we now have a new node called GraphQL query. So let's have a look at that. So the GraphQL query, it has a couple of different properties. It has a query property, and this is where you will input your actual GraphQL query. It has an endpoint property, which is the endpoint of the service that you're trying to hit. And we have request headers so that we can set specific headers that the service that you're using might need. So as I mentioned before, I'm going to be connecting this to Datto, a content management system. So let's head over to the Datto documentation to get some of the properties that we will need. So in this vanilla JS example, it tells us that the endpoint that we need to hit is this right here. So I'm going to copy that, go back to Noodle, and I'm going to paste that straight into my endpoint property, like so. Then I'm going to head back to Datto again, because I know I also need to supply headers. And the important part in the header here is that we do need to supply an authorization token. So first, let me copy this and paste that into the headers property section of our node here in Noodle. And now I need to get the actual token. So I'm going to head back to the Datto CMS. And for every project that you have in Datto, you will be able to get these tokens so that you can access them. And you guys are welcome to use my API key here. It's, a, it's the read-only API key. Uh, and so I'm going to copy that, head back to Noodle, go into my headers, and make sure to supply it right here. Like so. So now we need to actually create the query. And so if we have a look at Datto again, we see here that I've already created a couple of campaign cards that I want to retrieve. So I actually have three in here, and 
If we click on one of them, you can see that there's a title, a body, an image, and a button text. And those are the things that I'm interested in getting into Noodle. So I need to create a query that retrieves this from my campaign cards. And an easy way to do that is to use the API Explorer inside of Datto. And so I've already done that, and I'm just going to copy this. This is my query. I'm going to copy that into Noodle, into the query part of, of the GraphQL query node. And then the results that I wanted to pull out of here is actually the all campaign cards. So I'm going to copy that, click the little plus button here, paste in all campaign cards, and click Add. OK. So now we have fully set up our GraphQL query. And all we have left to do is see if it actually retrieves the correct data. So first, let's connect it to an array. And I'm going to connect from the GraphQL query to the array. I'm going to connect the all campaign cards to the items input of the array. And then I need to make sure that we actually do a fetch on the GraphQL query. And a good way of doing that is to connect the did mount signal from your root uh, from this group in this in this uh, case. So I'm going to connect the did mount to the fetch on the GraphQL query. What happens is now that whenever this page is shown or mounted, uh, this will actually do a fetch on this uh, query. So if I reload like this, you might have seen that we saw some marching ants here. And if I hover over this connection now, we and let me move this a little bit, you can actually see that we now have a bunch of data here. And so let's see what happens if we disconnect the static array here from my for each. And now I connect this array that contains the da data from the Datto CMS to the for each node. And we need to connect items to items. And there you go. Here are the three cards that I had in my Datto CMS. So let's add a new card to just to make sure that this actually works. So I'm going to head over to Datto again. And we're going to add a new record to the campaign card collection. So I'm going to give it a title. And maybe this is about a workshop I've been thinking about. Let's call it a Latte Art workshop. Come join us for a fun latte art workshop. And let's add a button text that's, let's say, learn more and an image as well. And let me grab an image from a folder I have here. I'm just going to I'm just going to grab this image and pull it in. And let's just give this a little bit of time to upload the image. because, And then we need to click the Save button here when it becomes available. OK, so now the image is uploaded. I'm going to click Save here. And if I go back here, we can now see that we actually have four cards in this campaign card collection. So let's head back to Noodle and do a quick reload. As, as we can see right now, we only have these three cards. And I expect to see this new card that I just added up here once I've done a reload. And there it is with the image and everything. And that's it. That's how you add the graph QL module into a Noodle project and how you set it up to use in this particular case with the Datto content management system. Thank you so much. 
Happy noodling. Bye.